You know, we have genera- the younger people are always the ones who come up and change my mind and actually want to talk about it. It's the, old, it's the millennials, those people in that gap who are like, ah, you're a racist! <laughs> like, what? And they're like, I don't know, I just want to scream louder so I win! Ooh, that is a busy shirt. Is that writing or is that just a pattern? Oh, it's a Hawaiian shirt. Oh, okay, all right. You from Hawaii? <laughs> oh, no, I'm a Hollywood's new favorite socialist. What's that? You're, you're what? Ace Hollywood's new... Oh, okay, I see what you did there, yes. Yeah, I'm all Ace right. Ventura. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I got it. Okay, I see it now. You know, I didn't see it before. The red pants, the hair. Yeah, you get the hair more. Okay, Ace Ventura. All right, I appreciate it. Was this a last minute costume? I mean, it wasn't quite like the mug oh, guy. No, yeah, it was last. Yeah, he's like it's last minute. So like, you got a tank top and a shirt that kind of I don't know, more like Jim Carrey. <laughs> That's pretty close. It's not right. bad. Okay, what's your name, sir? Uh, Eli. Eli. All right, Eli. We're going Old Testament. What would you like? Uh, what's your question? <laughs> well, Elijah. So really Old Testament. Oh. oh. All right. There all you right. go. But uh, my question is, uh, so I'm 18, so I don't have to identify with millennials. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> Wait, you're 18? You're lucky. Yes, I'm 18. Lucky. So I'm born too Shit, fast. said Kevin Spacey from his cell. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> I, really, I really hope the Hawaiian shirt could give me an aloha. Stop, stop. Stop clapping. I'm terrible. All right, go ahead. But no, no. So do you have any hope for Gen Z, you know, being more conservative? They've kind of talked about... Oh, absolutely. That. So what do you, what do you see yeah. us doing, or what do we have to do to finally get the country going? So your Generation Z at 18, where does Generation I, Z I start mean, exactly? In 1990-something, you can identify with... I could tell Yeah, it's like 96. Identify. Yeah, no, I know. You can identify like with anything now. I, I identify as a baby yeah, boomer. I identify as a baby boomer. <laughs> I, yeah, I collect social security. They're like, what? I'm like, I know I could pick it later and technically get more, but I just want to steal stuff now. They're like, okay. Um, No, listen, this is true, and I appreciate it. Eli, thank you for the question, Eli. This is actually a really important question. Uh, Generation Z is possibly the most conservative generation ever. Now, I know, yeah. I mean, you know, that's why they were so busy trying to push David Hogg out. That's a great example. Generation Z is probably more pro-gun than it. Don't boo me. I say, it's not like Voldemort, okay? I'm like, say the name, like, boo! And you have less leeway because you're Canadian. <laughs> so, uh, Generation Z is probably more pro-gun than any generation prior. Why? They talk about gun culture 2.0 because you've, you've played these video games where you see these ultra-realistic guns, you want to try them out, shoot them. You're not even necessarily pro-Second Amendment, and then all of a sudden it kind of folds into that. Also tend to be very pro-free speech. And here's something that I've noticed, and I actually think is, is um, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this, it's entirely a theory, it's conjecture, okay? So, wait, please tell me you're dressed as a terrorist. I couldn't see you until just now. (laughs) I don't know. Hey, I came from Pompadas in Dearborn, huh? (laughs) What's a little money to Hezbollah? (laughs) Delicious food, by the way. I think there was a place, actually. What was the place that actually was funneling money to Hezbollah? It's Lashish, right, or possibly all of them, but let's go with Lashish. (laughs) No, it was Lashish, yes, I remember. And listen, you know, they hate the Jews, but by God, their tabbouleh is tasty. (laughs) Um, So Generation Z, uh, there are winning issues. Pro-gun, pro-free speech. They've rejected this sort of pseudo third-wave feminism. Uh, There's a lot of progress being made with Generation Z, and this is just kind of a theory that I have. You know, millennials were sort of the last generation to bridge that gap with social media. Right, millennials, when we, we, and I I guess technically I'm a millennial at 31. I'm not entirely sure. Um, One person's like... A cheer, and then everyone else booing because I'm still Canadian. I, I get it. I'm going to leave very soon. <laughs> you people are terrible. I'm never coming back to Ann Arbor. Um, no, I'm coming back, absolutely. <laughs> and we're going to sell out Hill Auditorium. Yeah. Woo. And then we're going to go up to Torch Lake and take a dump on Michael Moore's dock. <laughs> yeah. Symbolically. Uh, you have to say that now, otherwise people are like, oh, Michael Moore received an envelope. He's pretty sure it's the guy who said he's going to take a dump on his dock. <laughs> um, so we were the last generation, right? When I grew up, we didn't, we didn't have Facebook, we didn't have Twitter, we didn't have Snapchat. The closest thing was later on we had MySpace, and that sort of became like the whorehouse of the internet. Um, <laughs> before that, there was Friendster. Before that, there was Zanga, which was, it was just nothing but, it was nothing but Asians, and, and you know, <laughs> dot Indians were on Zanga. Um, <laughs> 
We didn't really have it, right? So that's the last generation where, remember, you didn't really get the red pen. Scores had to be evened out because you could insulate those kids. We had kids who were bullied a little bit too much when you go to baby boomers and Generation X, and we, we had sort of, we just tossed them all in a school together, right? We created the Federal Department of Education. Let's say, well, let's see what happens here. Okay, it's not really working out that well. People are getting their asses kicked. Test scores aren't really going up. But then Generation Z, they've been raised now with social media their entire life, which is terrible in a way because the worst things you can possibly read, right, you see on social media, it's toxic. I, it's just like a drug. You really need to keep usage of it absolutely limited, not today, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Crowder U of M takeover, yeah. um, shameless plug. Woo. You can't really hide. And so I don't think professors, I don't think parents are able to insulate Generation Z so much. So you have this generation, right, millennials who kind of made it to college, who'd been told that they're amazing and they're perfect every way that they were, and none of us are, and they went there, and then there was a reality check in the workplace, and we've seen all kinds of problems with millennials in the workplace, whereas Generation Z have been told the most horrendous thing they could possibly imagine since they could use a smartphone. And so I think that'll have negative ramifications, but again, they have the ability to fact check any bullcrap. Same thing, anything I've said here tonight, right? You can just pull up your phone and be like, oh, he's full of crap there. <laughs> Probably. I have no idea what I say up here half the time. <laughs> um, and that's with Generation Z, and they're very pro-gun, pro-free speech. So I, I actually have a lot of hope for Generation Z. I see far more people who are willing to listen and engage in a conversation because once you cut through the white noise of all the terrible crap being said on social media, you know, we have genera the younger people are always the ones who come up at Change My Mind and actually want to talk about it. It's the, old, it's the millennials, those people in that gap who are like, ah! Like, what? And you're like, I don't know, I just want to scream louder so I win. So I really do think the tides are, the pendulum swings the other way and Generation Z, statistically as well, something else that's undeniable, they are more conservative right now at this point in their lives than baby boomers were. So right now, a lot of people go, well, they're really not that conservative, they're liberal. Yeah, they're liberal, but that's expected when you're young. But for the first time, we actually have sometimes on certain issues, a plurality of Generation Z uh, folks, what do you call them, Generation Zers? Zers, the trans community won again! <laughs> Generation Zers, I never thought of it until now. Damn it, Caitlyn Jenner. Damn. I'm already on the X-Men cover, deal with it. Um, they are more conservative on certain issues than any generation before them at that snapshot in time uh, in their lives. And that's something we don't hear about. It's something to look out for. It's some really good news. And it's also why I want fewer and fewer people to be afraid because Generation Z is not as cowardly as many millennials were. And that really warms my heart. Thank you so much, Eli, for your question. I appreciate it. Hey there, YouTube viewer. If you like this video, you first off should probably seek counseling, but you should subscribe or hit the notification bell or watch one of these videos that's playing. The truth is, I don't know what any of that means anymore. If you try and subscribe or hit the notification bell, you won't be notified. And if you try and click one of these videos, it's just going to take you to BuzzFeed Boldly Fat Broads as they get carried out of their houses where they had to break down the North Wall and they get carried out in a land whale tarp. I don't know what's happening on YouTube. I know what's happening with Mug Club. Lotterwithcredit.com slash Mug Club. You get to watch the daily show one hour every single day, not just clips, along with like 15 other shows for $69 annually if you're a student and... or or, or veteran or military, and you get to keep us here on YouTube for free because we can, we can irritate them by your support. It's worth it, right?